let's get right to it. Uh, in this class, I'm going to show you how to drape a bodice. And I'll do two variations. I will do a two dark bodice. And I will also give you a demo on one dark bodice. Then I will uh, I'll show you how to take all this information from the drape, well, the cross markings and pencil marks, and transfer the information to dotted paper so that you will have a real pattern that you can use to uh, cut real fabric, okay? We're gonna start with a piece of muslin, 18 inches across and 24 inches in length. And the length, when I, when, I, when I say length, I mean this is the selvage, this is the edge of the fabric, of the muslin. And we always, always want to drape where the edge of the fabric, the selvage, is parallel to center front. In other words, you want to drape like this, not like that. That's okay, next we start by drawing a grain line one inch away from the edge, one inch away from the selvage, we draw a one inch grain line, and then we divide the muslin in half and draw a cross grain uh, perpendicular to center front. Now, most students, well, not most, but some students, make the mistake of starting by draping like this. You, you, they place the muslin like this, and then what happens is you have no fabric to complete this section. That's why we have a cross grain, which tells us that this cross grain must come across the bust level, the apex level. So the cross grain uh, crosses the apex, center front is pinned onto the center front. And you want to put the pins at a certain angle. You want to put the pins at this angle, uh, because watch what happens if you do it this way, Guess what? This comes undone. You see that? So you don't want to do that. You want to put your pin at a certain angle and the angle is like that, in this direction. Here. Now, this is the tricky part here. Be careful how you cut this. You don't want to go straight across this way. What you want to do is you go up about an inch or so from the neckline, go about an inch and cut a little bit and then go upward like this. So only this piece gets cut off, see that? And then slowly you clip the neckline so that the fabric falls nicely onto the bodice. We'll put a pin right there, like that. Okay, pin. And basically now what happens is that all this fabric, this becomes one dart, the waistline dart, and this excess fabric becomes the shoulder dart. So what you want to do is you want to uh, smooth the muslin until you come to the princess seam and you put a little pin and you put a little cross mark. Now I'm using a Sharpie, but you should use a pencil. Always use a sharp pencil. Put a little cross mark right there, and then smooth all this fabric, right? So that, watch this, all this excess fabric, nice and smooth. Here's my old cross mark from the princess seam. You're gonna take all this fabric here, smooth it up like this, and then fold this under like that. And you can see how we, we're creating our first dart. Here is okay. our side seam. We'll put pins on the side seam. Okay. And now all this excess fabric here will become our dart. How do we do that? Again, we smooth the muslin on the waistline until we come to, again, the princess line or the princess seam and put a little pin where that is, is right there. And we'll put a little cross mark. And then all this excess fabric will be folded under uh, to create the dart. So watch this, I'm gonna take this fabric, I'm gonna crease it here, smooth and fold it under. Now what happens, notice there's some tension, there's some pulling here. So we want to eliminate that. So 
we take our scissors and we slash. See all this tension right here? You want to eliminate that. And by slashing to the waistline, see, there's the tension. It's gone, it's nice and smooth and flat. Uh, and you might want to do another one right next to it. And maybe even a third one, like that. Any excess fabric below the waist, you can go ahead and trim it off. Trim it away. I might as well mark using the bottom of the tape. The bottom of the, of the tape is the waistline. We're going to mark our waistline. We're going to mark our side seam. You can feel it with your fingers. You can mark your side seam and the armhole. And we're going to mark our neckline. And where the neckline meets the shoulder, and where the shoulder meets the armhole, and also let's mark our apex. And a mark where the two fabrics meet, okay, so that basically you end up with these two cross marks. So we're gonna mark where these two fabrics cross over where they meet so that if you remove the pins you will notice you have this markings right here we can trim the extra fabric here on the side we don't need all this fabric we can trim all this away Welcome to Fashion Premier Academy. I will see you in class.